Now the um, ingredients for this is the glue. The amount of glue that you use, you want to add the same amount of water. Okay. Okay. And I do have marks on these graduated or these uh, little plastic beakers. So you can look at the mark there, and you're almost at four, right there, and that's Good. four ounces. Four plus four. Um, this might take a while. Eight. Eight. Good job, Paul. Okay, you're gonna mark it up to the eight mark. At this step is where you'd add the color if you want to have okay. instead of white. You're going to add, if you want, we of got course. It. This is very hard. So pick a color. Um, while Paul is adding the color, and he's gonna mix that together. Okay. So you gotta got do one of each. Sure. Um, he can add <laughs> as much color as he wants, but there it's the go. same amount of water that you add to the glue. And now, while you're doing that, I'm going to take my liquid starch. And as a suggestion, Paul, just for your okay. information, sits on the shelf for a while. The secret ingredient in here is something, here's a what? word you're going to have to say, sodium borate. Can you say that? Sodium borate. Right. If you look on the ingredients, it will even say... Um, so a word called borax, okay. which is that yes. sodium borate. And that's the stuff that is going to create our slime when we mix it with okay. that. And I want to use eight ounces, fluid ounces, which will match your eight fluid ounces of glue water mixture. Okay? Okay. And we're going to combine those two. What you're going to do is add that to the liquid starch that has the borax. Okay. Okay. You can add it either way. Add it completely. And you're going to mix the two together. I'm going to ask you right away your observation when those two mix. What do you observe about the substance? Feel it. What does it feel like on your spoon? It feels gunky, more gunky. More gunky? Yeah. Oh! Does that look like the same glue, the same polyvinyl acetate that you started off with? No, no, no. It does not, no. That borax mm -hmm. actually created this polymer, long chain um, polymer, making it more elastic <laughs> and more Might fun polymer science. That's, you know, what Paul is doing is actually a really good way to mix that. You really want to give it a good vigorous mix. Now this is my secret, and it took me a lot of practice with making this home recipe, is to actually let it sit. You want to give and I'm going to get my hands dirty here. You want to give, Ew. this stuff looks great. I love the colors you used here, Paul. You want to give oh, this time great. for that borax to really mix in with <laughs> that glue, with that sodium polyacetate. Um, and right now it looks stringy, doesn't it? It looks very stringy. If you give this about a five to 10 minute wait and then start playing with it, it will still be stringy. But after about a half hour to an hour play, you're going to have a very good slime slash silly putty type mixture. Go ahead, put your hand in there, Paul. Grab some. Ew, it makes it feel so weird. Does that feel like what you have right now in your cup? Yeah, go ahead, compare. This feels a little wet. Feels wet? Does this feel um, stringy, as stringy? No. If you are to describe, compare the two? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, okay, so after letting this sit for a while, and I followed the same recipe. This is the resulting slime that you have. Makes a little, a little and, sound. Yeah, and maybe that's one of the characteristics of this store bought with it being a little bit more solid like yeah. versus the liquid. Okay. Your sound sounds a little bit more runny. Right? Okay. No okay. comment. Well, let's move let's on. See who let's can make on. the best sound. How is that? Okay, I had no success making a bubble. You are having success. You are. Dang it. Believe it or not, see baby steps here, Paul. Baby steps. <laughs>